for both arguments? Well, I, I guess I look at the numbers a little differently. I think um, I, I don't pretend to know that we can precisely define how big a problem underreporting is. But when we see the calls for service emergency and non-emergency go from 700,000 and change to 900,000 and change, it tells me that we don't have an increasing problem of underreporting. At the very least, we're seeing 200,000 more calls than we saw f five years ago. Um, and so I, I think that should be able to lead us to a conclusion that if people are underreporting, the rate is certainly no greater than it was five years ago. Uh, and we know that there are certain categories of crime, particularly sex offenses and crimes against children, where we know there's going to be a large percentage of underreporting. And, and those, are, those are challenges we have that uh, certainly go beyond uh, police staffing questions. Uh, but uh, look, I, I just think we are certainly grappling with a lot of challenges in this city. It seems to me that based on what we're seeing in these numbers, that one of those problems is not that people are increasingly failing to report. Um, and and I, I appreciate what you're saying. I just think that the numbers are pretty strong. I, I, I do.